Hi everybody, I just want to give you a brief tour of our estate sale of Jan Howard. Jan, of course, a longtime Grand Ole Opry member. She was a very special lady in so many ways. And let me just start by saying that uh, the net proceeds from this sale go to one of her near and dear organizations, the Overwatch Alliance Veterans Foundation. Of course, the sale's being conducted by my wife, Amy Jo, EJ's Treasures, and it's gonna be held August 21st and 22nd from 9 a.m. until 5 p.m. We would love to see you here. Let me just run through briefly and show you some of the things that uh, you, you can find here. A lot of military stuff. Jan was so involved with the military. She had a son who, of course, uh, died in Vietnam, and uh, she had another son who was a veteran, and she, uh, she supported veterans every way she could. And you'll see some of the awards that the uh, military has presented to her down through the years, and just wonderful, wonderful examples of, of the patriotism of this wonderful lady. Now, there's a picture of the Blue Angel, signed by all the Blue Angels. This flag uh, was flown over her son, uh, son's grave in the military cemetery here in Nashville. Just all sorts of things. Here's a plate from the House of Representatives and the Senate. All sorts of books, uh, declarations. Jan was so involved with the military and, and wanted recognition for all of the boys and girls who serve in our military. There's a, a letter from President Gerald Ford recognizing Jan. And uh, there, there's several. Okay. Here's a signed uh, autographed picture from the uh, head of the Joint Chiefs of Staff. And uh, that's General uh, Hugh Shelton. And uh, showing his appreciation for all that Jan did for our veterans. And boy, she was so involved. Uh, you just name a, a project for our military boys and girls, and, and you'll find Jan involved in any way she can. There's uh, Governor Winfield Dunn, uh, President Clinton, just all sorts of uh, different things she was involved in with the military. Here's a figurine of David, and she said that always reminded her of her son, David, who also uh, died, and she lost two sons, one in the Vietnam War and one here at home. And here's another uh, figurine that was always near and dear to her heart. The two angels she uh, always thought represented her two sons. Same with this one. Uh, I can't tell you a lot about the statue other than it meant a lot to Jan Howard. Now, over on this table, we have all sorts of things from her foreign travels, and she traveled all over the world. And there's a story behind every one of these things. Uh, that. That little particular uh, thing with the, with the stones in it, she gathered from different places in the world, and some of them she wasn't supposed to take stones from, but she said she did, she got away with it. So <laughs> there they are. Cookbooks. Jan absolutely loved to cook. She loved to cook for her friends and family. She collected cookbooks, and there's every kind of cookbook you can imagine in there. Some were given to her by her uh, celebrity friends, and it's, it's worth it just to come down and, and look through those. All sorts of memorabilia here. This particular uh, picture that we're looking at, that's an actual photograph. That was done by Johnny Cash, and it is signed by Johnny. Uh, he, he was really into photography, and uh, she... Uh, he gave, that, he gave that one to her. There's a, a picture of Jan on a cattle drive. Jan loved adventure. She was an outdoor person. She loved to hunt. She loved, to hunt. She loved this cattle drive. They actually uh, slept out on the prairie, and uh, she said uh, once a day, if I got this right, Amy Jo, that a shower truck, a truck That's with right. showers in it would come in, and they'd, they'd at least get to take a shower. But other than that, they were That's they were out there in the wilderness. Do you know who that lady is with her? No, I don't. Okay. Uh, Jan actually wasn't much of a, a horse lady. 
but uh, she got on this horse long enough to take the picture. <laughs> she was scared to death, and they said when she got off the horse, the horse took off. So thank goodness she wasn't on it when it took off. Uh, you know, when I was growing up, I loved country music, and I couldn't wait for the next edition of Country Song Roundup. If you have that memory, boy, you're in luck. We have a whole section of Country Song Roundup pictures, even the, the yearbook. The thing I loved about Country Song Roundup, not only did it keep me posted on all my favorite country stars, it also had the lyrics to all the current songs in it. And so there you go. Uh, have yourself a, a, a time with all these Country Song Roundup Maybe you've got a few missing from your collection and, and you, can, you can fill it in at this sale. More of her travels over on this side. And uh, you can see things she collected from all over the world. Now her son, was it David or Jimmy? Jimmy made these. Oh, okay, Jimmy. In high school in his woodworking class. Yeah. And her brother brought this. this that's what I was getting at. Her brother brought this from, from Korea, Korea. Mm -hmm. and uh, sent it to Jan. There's stuff really from all over the world here. You know, and this is, is Bill Raines, uh, the famous oh, yeah. uh, statue, a bronze sculptor. Mm -hmm. And uh, he had made this and gave it to Jan. And it's called The Perfect Gift, and she loved it because it was a, a mother holding her child. Now, you'll remember Bill, he did a, a, a life-size statue of uh, Ernest Tubb that you may have seen. He did statues of a lot of country music artists, world-renowned artists. Now, we get to the awards table, all sorts of awards on this table, and uh, handwritten notes from people congratulating her, some you'll recognize some that were just good friends and fans. Uh, but Jan, in her lifetime, won a lot of awards, as you can imagine. There's the Mini Pearl Award. There's a picture of my old buddy, Grant Turner, and uh, loved Grant. Some books uh, concerning country music that are fr autographed from Jan's collection. There's a Grand Ole Opry 80th anniversary picture history book, uh, picture history books from down through the years. Will the Circle Be Unbroken, that famous... Uh, book from Paul Kingsbury and Alana Nash, the uh, 1965 country music, Who's Who. Uh, you'll, you'll enjoy going through that. And there's old Mo Bandy, Lucky Me. Great biography that he did. Montgomery Gentry, if you want to get a little, uh, little more modern, and uh, as you, well, you can read what's on there. <laughs> <laughs> there's a picture from the 74th anniversary of the Grand Ole Opry with the big birthday cake rolled out. A lot of 45 records, we have a lot of those now. Some of these are Jan Howard, we've got a lot of Jan Howard records in here, but some, some are by other artists. For instance, there's, uh, well, that was a Jan Howard record. I, I saw some more in here. Of course, when you're looking for them, you never can find them. Uh, and, uh, uh, well, anyway, you'll, you can go through those and check them out. Patsy Klein video made by the NPT station in Virginia. Uh, of course, where Patsy was from. Patsy and Jan were best friends, and a lot of insight into the, the life of, of Patsy Klein in that, coupled with a book that uh, was put out by the Country Music Hall of Fame. Our, all sorts of memorabilia. Here's something I want to point out. There were only a thousand of these made. We have one that's here in the sale, and of course, each one was signed by Jan Howard, and it's through the years with Jan Howard. You'll want to check that one out. There's one other one on eBay right now oh, okay. for, from the sale as yeah. well that you can purchase now. You'll see Jan with some of her friends there. There's Jeannie Seeley and uh, uh, Jean Shepard, Bobby Bear. Bobby was a dear friend. Of, uh, they, in fact, Bobby and Jan go back to the California days. Uh, they, uh, they piled around together, performed together out there and uh, kind of grew up together in, in, in the music business. Interesting stories. And uh, here's some more memorabilia. There's some awards. Ernest Tubb Humanitarian Award. I remember the night I was there. I think I emceed the show the night she was given that by David McCormick, who, of course, owns and operates the uh, uh, Ernest Tubb record shops. This is one of my favorites. This is a doll that Jan's mother made. Jan's mother made dolls. 
she outfitted it with a, a replica of the of the dress that Jan had on the very first time she appeared on stage out in Los Angeles. Now you talk about a keepsake. There's a note down there authenticating it. And Jan Howard's mother actually made that. I think that is fabulous. There's another picture on stage at the Opry and uh, just all the cast members and even got the square dancers on there, both sets of them. George D. Hayes Society, West Plains, Missouri, Hall of Honor, Forever and Ever Amen, a book by Randy Travis. Grand Ladies of the Grand Ole Opry, there's Jan and Jean Shepard and Jeannie Seeley. Jan uh, was a great philosopher. You know, uh, I can remember times when I was down and out about something, I'd come to talk to, to Jan about it. And she, she always had, had wisdom. Uh, this is one of her favorite sayings. Yesterday is a canceled check. You can't write it again, but be thankful you had the time to spend. Tomorrow's a promissory note. The only cash on hand is today. Spend it wisely. There's a, a Harold Bradley presenting, I, I'm not sure what award that was, but he was presenting her with some kind of an award. And uh, where did this particular one that come from? That was in Jones? West Plains. Um, that it was on Jan Howard Day, I believe. Yeah, when they named it. And this the is the scarf that she had on, and we also have the pin that she had on during that presentation. So. We've actually been to West Plains and saw the yes, Jan, Jan Howard Highway. She actually got a got pulled over one time uh, on that on that boulevard, and uh, I think she got out of it. I'm somewhere. glad I wasn't that police officer <laughs> that pulled her over. Yeah, what do, you, what do you do when a police officer pulls you over on your road? Grand Ole Opry memorabilia there. There's a pen made from the old Ryman stage, and uh, all sorts of things that you'll enjoy looking through. And there's a, a picture. I love the pictures of the Opry down at the Ryman. And you can see the, the place is packed back in 1946. Uh, picture, that, that hung in Jan's house, right? Yes, uh-huh, in and the living room. We have several of those. There's a piece of uh, bohemian glass that uh, has two candlesticks that uh, sat on her breakfast table. Yeah, and uh, all sorts of things. Uh, one thing I thought was, was funny, when her boys were little, they gave her this for a birthday or Christmas. Christmas. And it's a, a martini set. And she didn't drink martinis, but she didn't want to hurt the boy's feelings, so she kept it. And <laughs> they, they had no idea what they were getting. They were too young, they didn't know what. But she said, I've never drunk a martini in my life. So <laughs> this set is uh, some gold engraved uh, stuff that she got from uh, the Chip. face. Tiffany in New York, the head of BMI in New York City, sent this to her. Now, tell me the story on this. I forgot. This is the chocolate set. Chocolate set, yeah. That when she traveled with the Johnny Cash show, they had KGB um, agents yeah, take the them bodyguards. shopping. Yeah. And uh, so they stood and watched her buy this to make sure she stayed safe. Oh, wow. Just, oh, and uh, as I say, uh, just way too much to go in, but there's a lot of stories behind this stuff. When you come to the sale, we'll tell you the stories behind all of it. Here's some more Grand Ole Opry memorabilia. These were things were, were given on anniversaries and maybe for Christmas or a birthday, but you'll notice they all have the Grand Ole Opry logo on them. Uh, their pictures, uh, just little handbells, just anything you can imagine, and you'll have fun going through and and looking at that. This is an interesting piece. This is an ice bucket that Hubert Long, Hubert Long was a very famous uh, talent agent. He was Jan's agent at one time. You can see her uh, playing guitar for him in his office there. And uh, he gave her this as a present. It contains a bottle. Now that's not champagne, that's not wine. It's full of chocolates. Jan never opened it. She says it's never to be opened. So if you buy this, don't open it. Because, I don't know, she may come back and haunt you or something. <laughs> this picture down here, this brings back fond memories for me. George Jones was on his final tour, and he was supposed to play Nashville, and unfortunately he passed away before that happened. We all gathered one night and did a tribute to him, a memorial, and uh, then we all gathered backstage for a picture. And that is it. You'll also get the backstage pass that came with that. I was honored to be a part of that. And this is a letter that George wrote to Jan 
inviting her to this event. So uh, that's that kind of completes the set there, if you want to think of it in that way. And we've got a John Hartford poster there. Uh, and these are paintings that uh, Jan's sister did. Jan's sister was, was quite the artist, as you can see. And I'm gonna show you a picture in a minute that, that Jan did. Over here, we've got shoes, we've got shoes, and we got more shoes. Jan loved shoes. Now, you can tell that by this display. And you can come and buy a, a pair of, you can buy several pair if you want of Jan's shoes. Uh, these aren't cheapies. These are well-known uh, uh, name, name brand shoes. And, uh, seven and a half narrow. Seven and a half narrow. So if your foot's not that small, you can put them on display somewhere. But uh, that's Jan Howard's shoes. Let's move around here. This is the Christmas table. Just various things she had to, for her Christmas decorations for her and her boys down through the years. And uh, got, some, got some interesting pieces in there. Okay, you want CDs? We got CDs. We got CDs. We got DVDs. We got VHSs. These were all out of Jan's personal collection. Some of these shows she appeared on. Some of them were just some of her favorites. Now, a lot of them, uh, I've gone through them, a lot of them are still sealed. Uh, now, for instance, let's see. Here's everything that she and Bill Anderson, I think, ever did. There's just multiple copies of all the Jan Howard records that she made and she and Bill Anderson made. I mean, we're going back here. That one's uh, back in the Capitol days. And uh, some of the stuff she made in California, there's a duet album with Wynn Stewart. Of course, they were all part of that California movement out around Bakersfield in L.A. We've got uh, items from her personal collection. For instance, there's the, the Kitty Wells show. And just different, different things that, that she just, she loved these people and she loved her fellow artists. And she even loved Judy Garland. There's her copy of Judy Garland's album. Sad Side of Lefty Frizzell. You, you're going to just be amazed as you go through these albums. I, I, I was, and I've seen a lot of records in my day. She was a big fan of Mickey Newberry, several Mickey Newberry albums in here. There's Dean Martin, uh, Jack Green. I love this one. She and Bobby Bear were dear friends and down through the years, as I mentioned earlier. And uh, that's an old RCA Bobby Bear record, A Bird Named Yesterday. And she's got several of those in there from Bobby. Now, she loved the Osborne Brothers. There's Tammy Wynette. There's Grant Turner's History of the Opry. Some of you may remember when that came out. Don Williams, Spirit of Hank Williams. And just, you'll have fun just going through looking at all that. Here's the various pictures. Uh, now, this, this is the one I wanted to show you. Jan painted that picture. Her sister insisted, as I mentioned, Jan's sister was, was quite the artist. And she insisted that Jan paint a picture. Jan says, I'm not a, I'm not a painter. I'm, I'm, an art, I'm a singing artist. She said, no, I want you to paint a picture. Now, I want you to look at that. That is the first picture Jan Howard ever painted. You'll notice she's put her signature down on the, on the right-hand side. Now, her sister uh, fussed at her for that. She said, no, you're supposed to make your signature small. She said, this is the only painting I'm doing. I'm having a picture, my name on it and where people can see it. <laughs> so she did. Here's a sewing machine, 1954. Four. She bought this when she came to Nashville. She had three young boys she needed to sew for. So she went out and bought her a, singing, a singer sewing machine, and that can be yours. Beautiful picture of a, a, a young Jan. All kinds of things here, a, a great memorabilia. Here's a, a, a lingerie chest, uh, evening purses that she wore, and, uh, that she carried, no doubt, to uh, award shows and, and different things. She and Mother Maybell, well, uh, she and the Carter family, Johnny Cash, June, all of them, were great friends. This is one of my favorite pictures because I loved Mother Maybell and I loved Jan. And there they are together. I think that was taken out on the Johnny Cash property out in Hendersonville. That's where they all lived. And you'll notice there's also Mother Maybell's cookbook and uh, with June Carter Cash, introduction by Johnny Cash. Of course, Jan sang on some of Johnny's biggest hits like uh, Daddy Sang Bass. And she did that part, Mother Sang Tenor. It's the only line she had in the whole thing, but she made it memorable. And uh, just all sorts of things here. 
The book, Sunshine and Shadow, one of the best biographies, autobiographies I've ever written. She really tells it like it is. We have a few copies of those for you. And uh, there's a, a pillow with her picture. Okay, clothes. Jan Howard loved clothes. We've got racks and racks of not only her everyday wear, but a lot of her stage costumes. And uh, just come in, they speak for themselves. <laughs> scarves, obviously she loved scarves. We've got a whole rack of scarves. And if you, if you like uh, show clothes, you need to be here. Purses, you name it. Guitars that were given to her down through the years. There's some boots that she actually wore on stage. Some old 78 records. And uh, we just want you to come in, look around, Check it out. This is our tribute to Jan. We loved her very, very much, and uh, we're just honored to be able to be a part of this. Again, this is being conducted by my wife, Amy Jo, and you can go online to ejs-treasures.com to see more, and I'll remind you that all net proceeds go to the Overwatch Alliance Veterans Foundation. This is a foundation that uh, Jan's son, Corky, and she set up. It's to help veterans, they either active duty or folks who uh, uh, are no longer in active duty but have problems, well, they're there to help them, and they do every single day. It's, it's an amazing organization. The sale is August 21st and 22nd, 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. We've got all the COVID uh, uh, things in place. There'll only be a certain number of people allowed in here at a time. You'll be required to wear a mask. We want to be very careful and keep you safe. And uh, we invite you to come on out. And it's in Franklin, Tennessee. Go to the website and we'll give you the exact location. That's ejs-treasures.com. Thank you. We'll see you then.